Hey, what's going on guys? Jake the Happy Snake here and welcome back to Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. On Friday, we celebrated the 400th episode of this series. The money tree was tripled and that was only the second time in the entire series that I have played for triple the amount of money as normal. And I won $375,000. I walked away on the 13th question and that was really good. I mean, that's like right in between a quarter of a million and a half million dollars. So yeah, I was really happy with that. I walked away on the $750,000 question. And that brought my overall total to $27,351,564. So I hit the $27 million mark on Friday's episode, which was awesome. And yeah, I am ready to start a brand new week here. Hopefully today will be better than last Monday because last Monday wasn't that good. And since it's a new week, I'm gonna switch characters. For this week, I'm going to play as Chun. I don't exactly remember when, like honestly, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank of like when I chose last character, so I hope I'm not like, I hope it hasn't been like a super long time since since I played as a certain character. Um, but yeah, so, let's see how this week goes. Okay, the very first question of the week is, which of these objects does a conductor use? A baton. Let's see, final answer. There we go. That's a hundred dollars. Okay. Question number two for 200. Who steals from the rich to give to the poor? Robin Hood. Final answer. Okay. That's 200. Next question's for 300. Which sport do you do if you participate in the Tour de France? Cycling. C. Okay. $300. Next up is the $500 question. Which singer is known as the Princess of Pop? Britney Spears. Okay. 500 bucks. And now the $1,000 question. What makes up a poem? Uh, verses. There we go. 1,000 bucks, guaranteed. So I'm already doing better than I did last Monday, so that's nice. We're 10 questions away from the million, all four lifelines still intact. Okay, let's take a look at the $2,000 question. What is our galaxy called? The Alpha Quadrant. Uh, it's the Milky Way, final answer. This is something that she should know because her, her interest is astronomy so which is a course i'm going to be starting at the beginning of november so i'm quite excited for that okay next question for four thousand dollars what describes the hatter in alice in wonderland mad always late no that is rachel wilson from heroes of vivia mad hatter b final answer Whew. okay that's four thousand bucks Still haven't used a lifeline. Okay. Here's the $8,000 question. Which of these words is not related to books? That would be shelf, even though shelf is where books go, so it is related to books, but no, it's... That's the answer that they want, so... Okay, that's $8,000. <sighs> Just two questions away from the next safety net level, so let's try to get there. Here's the $16,000 question. Which Square Enix RPG was released in 2020? I'm not sure. Do I want to ask the audience? I'm a little afraid that the audience might mess me up. Let's phone a friend. Unfortunately, I can't call Jennifer today. That was George's phone a friend. I literally called her four 
times last week, four out of five. The only time I didn't use the phone friend was Monday because I was out of the game so early. She was amazing. She she hit, she won me a half million dollars on Thursday. And if that had happened on Friday, it would have been one point five million. Um, I believe I will call. I call one of her brothers. Let's call John because they would probably know Final Fantasy. I'm sure Ben. I, I I'm almost certain that Ben would know this. But, unfortunately, he's not a lifeline today. <laughs> the new lifeline. Call a friend on Discord. Alright, come on. See, that's what I was thinking, but I thought maybe I was overthinking it. That was It was kind of a guess. Okay, well, trust him. We'll go with the Final Fantasy VII, I think that is. I'm not really good with Roman numerals. Okay, good. All right, thank you, John. All right, that's sixteen thousand dollars. Okay, three lifelines left. Let's take a look now at the thirty-two thousand dollar question. The capital of Denmark would be. Um. Copenhagen. I'm gonna go with Copenhagen before I change my my mind. All right. Whew. Wasn't sure about that. I, I I was thinking, is it is it D? I I knew it wasn't C or D, but okay. Whew. Thirty-two thousand dollars. We have five wave in the million, and I still have three lifelines. So this is a good start to the week. Let's take a look at the sixty-four thousand dollar question. Which little game? were not made into which little bit games were not made into a Mario Sonic video game. Uh that would be Pyongyang 2018 because I own B and D, B and C. I own Sochi 2014 on the Wii U and Rio 2016 on the 3DS and I gave London 2012 on the 3DS to Ben for a Christmas present in 2013, I'm pretty sure. So I know for a fact that it's D, Pyeongchang Final Answer. 2018, Pyeongchang 2018 Final Answer. Yeah! Woo! All right, we're, uh, we're getting into some serious cash right now. $64,000, we are four away from the million. I still have three lifelines. Here's the 120. $5,000 question. What famous scientist came up with the, with the formula E M C squared? E equals M C squared. I am pretty sure it's Albert Einstein. So without... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with Albert Einstein before I change my mind. This is a bit of a risk. Be Albert Einstein, final answer. Come on! Yeah! Woo! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Guys, we are three questions away from the million dollars. I still have three lifelines. Here is the two... $150,000 question. Which artist painted the dome of Sistine Chapel in Rome? I don't know this one. These are all names of the Ninja Turtles as well. Yeah, I'm gonna switch the question. Because I'm at the $250,000 level, so I think my strategy of 50 15 and asking the audience would work. Because it usually does. I don't know who it would be. Da Vinci? Michelangelo. Okay, I'll have to remember that if I get this question again. Okay, so. I finally gave in. I, I, I finally used that lifeline. Okay, let's take a look at the new $250,000 question. Who wrote the magic flute? <sighs> I don't know this. I do not know this before. I don't think I've seen this question before. Um, <sighs> I 
I guess I'll have to do my, uh, I guess I'll do my strategy, 50-50, and then ask the audience, because I really don't know this, and I don't really, I, I don't, I can't even narrow it down. So let's see. So left with Tchaikovsky, Tchaikovsky and Mozart. Okay. Well, we're going to ask the audience, and what I'll do is I will choose the lowest percentage. Because that seems to work. I think last time I did that, I feel like that the percentages were pretty close, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time. Like that. Okay, so 43% was chosen by Tchaikovsky, and 57% was chosen by Mozart. So... I was at this level on Friday. I didn't go for it. I had no lifelines left. I walked away. The money was tripled, however. I walked away. Money isn't nearly as high today, because we're back to normal. I got $125,000. That's a lot of money. I'm going to have to live, my, live with myself if I get this wrong. But I'm going to go with the lower percentage one, which is C. Tchaikovsky. I'm going to go with it. C. Whew. Final answer. Oh my gosh! Oh. Wow. My strategy did not work. Ouch! That hurts. It just lost $93,000. Ooh. Hmm. I think that's the first time that strategy has not worked for me, so I might not do that again. <laughs> it worked like three days in a row, like a few weeks ago. Well, that is very unfortunate. Uh, but you know what? That's what happens. Well, that's unfortunate because that strategy has been successful for me in the past, but not today. So... Yeah, $32,000, that brings my overall total to $27,383,564. So, yeah, that, that does hurt quite a bit, losing $93,000, but it's just something that I have to deal with. Guys, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Peace out.